So I have my face on with the base, I have my foundation on and my powder and yeah just basic, just a little bit of product. Um, so now I'm going to start on my liquid eyeliner so everything's good to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this pencil. So I'm going to take the pencil and I'm just going to work it in to my waterline. So I'm just going to pull this down. So I'm just going to smudge it in. So why I'm doing this is because it helps make our liquid eyeliner really, really dark and really prominent. Um, with the liquid liner, sometimes it doesn't always get in between the creases of your eyelashes. So it looks kind of sparse. But with this, this helps. With the pencil, it really helps you smudge everything in and just create a bolder eye. So I'm going to do that around my lash line. Smudge it in. Now normally I wouldn't be pulling on my eyelash like this, but it's just so I can get you guys to see as I'm doing it. So I'm just going to show you on the one eye for now. So the next product I'm going to use, I like to use the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D in the color Trooper. So usually on an everyday look I like this one and the reason why I like this one is it doesn't rub off. It's so precise when you're putting it on, you get it everywhere you want it doesn't go somewhere you don't and it's like a felt tip so once again if you don't have a steady hand if you always have trouble putting on liquid eyeliner I really recommend getting a felt tip the other product that I use every now and again but mainly for my waterline I use this product for it's um, the L'Oreal uh, liqueur liner it's a 24-hour one it's really good too if you don't have like a pencil like a good black eyeliner you can also use use this one as a base sometimes when it runs out I'll use that so it comes with a brush uh, 
thin brush kind of similar to this so you just dip it in you can create your waterline this one has a, sh a different type of sheen to it just because of just the, consist the consistency of it all but once again you know that is if you can't get the tattoo liner then you can get this lower yellow one it's more affordable but here we go we're gonna start with this so whenever I'm putting on the liquid eyeliner first I like to start with the outside so after and plus like when you put this uh, pencil on it helps you create a shape too so when you're putting this on you kind of already have something to start with a general template okay but don't go too crazy though okay so here we go so I'm just gonna go to the end like where my last eyelash is my last eyelash on my eye I'm gonna take it and I'm just going to take it that that long usually it's 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 a good system to start and end it where your where your eyebrow ends but I don't know, I just have smaller eyes and they're kind of wider, so I don't like to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And then after, I like to go in the middle, where I already started my line. Right here, and just drag it out. Just drag it out like that. So it's good to start small, if anything. Don't start off too big, because... It's better to not have too much than to have something to take off. Okay, so so we started with this. That's our general template. You can see general template. So now I'm gonna go in to the front part. Once again, it's really good if you have a magnifying mirror. So I have one of these ones, as you can see, it's super magnifying. When you're putting on your eyeliner, it just allows you to see every single crevice. So you get a much better product at the end. So I'm just gonna go back into the front. Try it out again. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the end. I'm gonna go back to the end. Just fill that in. Okay, and just So what I did there was I was just connecting the line that I created here to the middle so that they would meet perfectly and it would kind of, I like my eyeliner to follow kind of my crease. You see how, see how the crease goes down this way? You should have your eyeliner kind of go down the same direction and then where the crease ends, you should have the extension out. Okay, so that is it. That is a wing liner, a cat liner. It's super easy. Once again, I love this trooper. I've been using this for almost two years and it lasts so long too, and I haven't gotten it. I haven't found any other liquid liner that is A, easy to use, easy to clean up if you make a mess, and also dries quick so it doesn't rub off. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye now. I'm going to do the same step and I'll be right back. Okay, hi. So I have put on the other eye now. So as you can see, they are sisters, not cousins. <laughs> so just take your time doing this step, honestly. It's super simple. As long as you have the right product and you take your time, don't stress. Keep your heart rate down for the good eyeliner, 100%. So yeah, just do that process. Just make sure when you're starting with the liquid line, 
the first line that you're going to do to extend the bottom of your cat eye. Make sure it's right above, right, you start it right where your top eyelash ends. So as you can see, you can't really see my eyelashes because I haven't put mascara on yet. But I've started it where my eyelash ends and I've extended it out towards my eyebrow. As you can see, this side is parallel to this side. This is what I like to do. It just looks more natural on me because I do kind of have like a cat eye as sideways almond, whatever you want to call it. So just work your way out, take your time. Always start on the end. And yeah, honestly, if you want this dark, dark color, because I find when I put this on other times without the eyeliner, it kind of looks dull and I also have to spend a lot more time filling it in, getting the product there. So this smudging and eyeliner helps you create an easier base and it also makes the black a lot more bold. Hi everybody, so this is my final look. So I just have to fix my hair up, put a little bit of earrings on, really simple. I hope you guys really like this video and thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next week with some more videos. If you have anything specific that you would like to know how I do that I haven't already done, let me know and I will try to do that for you guys. Um, yeah, and I hope this tutorial was really useful for you guys and helped you create a perfect cat eye because honestly, it's such a timeless, nice look. So I hope you guys can do it and if you can recreate it, by all means, share it with me on my Instagram page. It'll be down below. And thank you guys again for watching. See you next time.